Welcome to Read Up. Here at Read Up, we get to explore the wonderful world of reading. Today, we're going to find out about a young mouse named Freddle in the book Young Freddle by Cynthia Voigt. Freddle has always lived in the nest of the kitchen walls. All the mice, including his family and friends, have never been outside nor know anything about it. Freddle accidentally finds himself in the outside world, and as he tries to find his way back, he discovers things he's never even seen before. When he returns home, he starts looking at life differently, and his family, too, notices a change in Freddle. Here's a short preview from our book. Then he wondered if he should do what outside mice did and make a dash for it. But that would mean leaping into the water, and he thought his best hope lay in stillness. He didn't move. He barely breathed. Rilf said, I can't get a whiff on him anymore. Can you? I can't, Captain, Rad answered. The boys are none too pleased. You think we should have gone right after him last night? With all that food in our bellies? Besides, how was I to know he wasn't off in the orchard stuffing his face? Rilf's voice said. And then the rain. It was bad enough without the rain watering up his scent, he grumbled. You know, Captain, if you think about it, we don't have to go back. Not you and me. We could go straight on to the lake. Those two will never find the lake on their own and we'd never have to see them again. My guess is he fell in. What do you think? Could he fall in? Drown then? And his body washed up who knows how far downstream. Too far for us to retrieve him. I didn't think he'd do this to me. In all fairness, Captain, we were going to eat him. You can't really blame him. Then Rilf laughed. Hoo-ha! <laughs> You've got the right of it, Rad. I could almost admire that mouse. You'll have to read this book to find out what Freddle comes across next on his journey of the outside. So don't forget to pick up the book, Young Freddle, at your local library and remember to read up. <laughs>